Hi, my name is Sue, and this is the story of what happened to me just over six months ago. It changed my life. I was in my second year at college studying art. I've always really liked painting and drawing since I was a little kid. I always got lost in my work. Mom said I needed to get out more, socialize, but the truth was that I didn't have friends. I didn't really fit in. My clothing was mainly black, and I used the usual makeup and adornments most girls in college wore. Mom tried to make me look more ladylike, said I could be gorgeous if I tried, but I didn't care how I looked. Well, not really. There was this one boy called Jamie in one of my courses that was hot, but he was way out of my league. I hung out with Trish, my only friend. She was like me, and everyone at college nicknamed us the Ugly Sisters, but we didn't care. Or if we did, we didn't let it show. Anyhow, that all changed when one day on lunch break, Trish whispered in my ear, Don't look now, but Jamie and his buddy Alex are watching us. Of course, I immediately look around despite my friend's warning. Jamie would never be looking at us. Well, not intentionally. How wrong could I be? I felt my face coloring. The two boys were looking in our direction and whispering together. I pulled Trish away out of their sight line. They obviously weren't looking at us. It was her wishful thinking. We went to join the lunch line. The noise level in the dining hall seemed at an all-time high. It was almost the end of term, and in two weeks, a college party was coming up. Of course, Trish and I weren't going. We had no date. Anyway, we got our food and sat on a table away from the others. I was just tucking into a vegan burger when Trish looked up, almost choking on her salad. It's them. They're looking at us again, she gasped. This time, I didn't turn around. Sure, it was all in her head. But then she put down her fork, eyes almost popping. Oh my God, Sue, they're heading this way. Trish put her head down, pretending to eat, and I sensed them approaching. Good afternoon, ladies. Do you mind if we sit down? My heart was racing a thousand beats per minute as Jamie and Alex took seats next to us. Well, what do you want? Trish said with her snobbish tone. Does there have to be a reason for sitting next to two lovely ladies? Alex smiled a sickly smile that should have told me he was up to no good. It's my birthday at the weekend, and I'm having a pool party. I wondered if you two would like to come, he asked. Trish looked at me and frowned. I'm afraid we're busy, she spoke for both of us, but I was already lost in thoughts of Jamie sitting next to me. But I didn't dare to look at him. Well, the sound of my voice startled me as if I was thinking out loud. I'm free. I could hardly believe my words. Alex turned his attention to me. Hey, that's great. It's 2 p.m. on Saturday. Here's the address. He handed me a piece of paper, even though everyone knew where Alex lived. It was the biggest house for miles around. See you Saturday. That includes you too, Trish, if you change your mind. The two stood to leave, and I managed to turn and look at Jamie. He seemed awkward but gave me a half smile. As soon as they were out of earshot, Trish went mad. Why on earth did you agree to that? A pool party? Everyone will laugh at us. I'm not wearing a bikini. I'd never been excited about anything in my whole life. For once, my art didn't matter, and all I could think about was the party. It was only then that I looked in the mirror and noticed how boring I looked. I hadn't cared before, but now. Of course, Trish made it totally clear that she wasn't going to swim, and when I called for her on Saturday morning, she was still wearing her usual oversized t-shirt and pants. You're wearing makeup. It was the first thing she said as she opened the door. It was true. I had used a bit of mom's foundation and mascara. Trish made me feel like a traitor. Well, I thought I'd make a bit of an effort. I answered somewhat sarcastically, looking at her shabby clothes and unbrushed hair. She looked more scruffy than usual, and I knew she'd done it on purpose. That's the first time we'd ever really argued, and we set off for the party in silence. Alex's house was even bigger than it looked from the outside, and they had a half-covered, full-size pool. All the beautiful people were there, and as Trish and I approached, I thought perhaps that she'd been right. We didn't belong there. We shouldn't have bothered. But then Alex appeared and called to us as if we were his long-lost friends. He took us to sit around the pool, and I could see everyone looking at us. Some of the girls even started laughing, but I ignored them. I laid out a towel on the lounger and looked around. All of the girls were in their swimwear. I felt slightly awkward taking my clothes off, especially in front of these people. 
but I knew I looked good in my new bikini. The girls just eyed me critically up and down and shrugged while the boys raised their eyebrows in admiration. It was a weird feeling, but I liked it. I wondered if Jamie had seen me, but I didn't dare to look. I laid on the lounger and felt sorry for Trish. She put on her shades and made herself comfortable and started to read a book, or at least pretended to. I could feel her eyes on me. She hadn't forgiven me for making her come. I closed my eyes and soaked up the sun for a while, daydreaming about Jamie. After 10 minutes, it seemed to cloud over. I opened my eyes to see Jamie standing over me. Hi, glad you could come. Can I get you a drink? I could hardly speak, but nodded and tried to smile. You too, Trish? She grunted, and he went off to fetch the lemonade. Trish looked over her glasses at me. What's he hanging around for? I shrugged. I guess he's just trying to be friendly? Trish snorted. Those two are up to something. Just be careful. I laughed. She was so paranoid. I'd never been happier. Jamie returned with the drinks, and when he smiled, I swear my heart melted. Fancy a swim? Trish coughed and sputtered on her cold drink. You don't mind, do you, Trish? I gave her a hard stare, daring her to say anything. She just shrugged. It's your life. The water cooled my hot skin as I dove in. We stood and chatted for a while. He asked me questions about my life. He even seemed interested in my art. I wasn't sure how long we'd been in the water, but when I looked up, Trish was gone, and I suddenly felt guilty for deserting her. After all, I'd dragged her along in the first place. I was suddenly torn between my loyalty to Trish and wanting to stay with Jamie. But in the end, I pulled myself from the pool. Sorry, I have to go. Jamie looked surprised, maybe a little disappointed as I started to dry myself and dress. Hey, I was wondering, he started. I looked up. He seemed almost embarrassed. I was wondering if you'd like to go to the end of term party with me. I stood speechless for a minute, my mouth open, unsure if I'd heard correctly. You know, the party on Friday night, he repeated, unsure if I'd heard. My legs felt like jelly. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> I finally managed to speak. Jamie smiled, looking relieved. Great, I'll pick you up at seven. I went home via Trisha's house, but when I called, her mom said she didn't feel well and wouldn't come to the door. I felt terrible for leaving my best friend, but at the same time, I was stunned by the fact that Jamie had asked me to be his date and kept having to pinch myself to make sure I wasn't dreaming. Trish stayed off college all week. I was pretty much on my own, but didn't mind. Occasionally, I bumped into Jamie, but he always smiled. I expected him to talk to me more now that he was taking me to the party, but somehow, he seemed to be avoiding me. I saw him and Alex arguing about something one lunchtime, and when they saw me, Jamie stormed away. I started to get a sinking feeling in my stomach. Maybe he was having second thoughts. But I shoved those feelings out of my head and tried to concentrate on what I would wear instead. Of course, mom was delighted that I'd got an actual date and pulled out all the stops. A new dress, new hair, new everything. I still hadn't spoken to Trish, but I would see her after the party. As I got ready, I hardly recognized myself in the mirror. I looked almost beautiful. As I was finishing my hair, I heard the door ring, but let mom get it. I heard Jamie's voice and my heart missed a beat. I sprayed my hair with lacquer before rushing down the stairs. Mom was waiting for me alone in the hall. Well, where have you hidden him? Mom looked at me and I stopped smiling. There were tears in her eyes. Oh, Sue, I'm so sorry. She sat me down and told me that Jamie called to say that he couldn't take me to the party after all. Gave no reason, but just that he was genuinely sorry. I wanted to cry, but I didn't. I'd been so stupid. I should have listened to Trish. Trish. I needed my best friend more than ever and rushed up to my room to phone her. It was only then that I cried. She listened to my tale of woe and sounded genuinely sorry for me. Hey, why don't I come around and we can go to the college party together? We'll show them, she suggested helpfully. At first, I didn't want to, but then I thought of all the money mom had spent on me. Why waste a good dress? I agreed, and within an hour, Trish and I were standing at the entrance of the sports hall. The party was well and truly underway. As soon as we walked in, I knew it was a big mistake. I felt all eyes on us, as if everyone was laughing at us. I headed to the powder room while Trish went to get us both a drink. I needed a few minutes to get my confidence back. I shut the door on the cubicle, just as I heard a group of girls enter. I recognized one voice, Jessica, a girl who was always hanging around with Jamie. 
Of course he'll ask me out tonight. God knows why he was ever thinking of asking that dork Sue out. Although I blame Alex. He encouraged Jamie in the first place. Thought it was some huge joke. The joke was on him when he realized his best friend had actually asked her out. I mean, she would never fit in with our crowd. Well, Alex finally knocked some sense in him. Thank God he did. I mean, Jamie and Sue, come on. I didn't want to hear any more. So that was it. It was all a big joke. I was all a big joke to Jamie and his mates. I waited for them to go before I ran from the powder room and out onto the sports field beyond. It was only then that I allowed myself to cry, my tears washing the mascara and carefully applied makeup from my face. But what did that matter now? The mascara was stinging my eyes as I heard someone approaching. Reaching into my bag, I pulled out a wipe and started to scrub the makeup from my eyes. Trish? No, it's me, Jamie. I turned away, not wanting him to see the state he'd made me. I want to apologize. I could feel the anger rising in my throat as I turned to him. For what? Humiliating me in front of the whole school? Why did you even bother asking me out in the first place? He looked shocked for a minute. Please, let me explain. He added. I turned my back, but then felt a gentle hand on my shoulder. I really like you, Sue. I gave in to pressure. All of the others were being so horrible about you when they found out I'd asked you to the party. And now they're laughing at me because I got dumped, even before the date. Nice one. I turned my back on him once again and heard him sigh. I guess I've messed up. Big time, huh? I suppose you have. Then he grabbed my arm, spinning me back around to look at me with his big brown eyes. To hell with the lot of them. Let's make amends. Will you come back to the party with me? As my date? I looked at him, with streaky eyes. Like this? He laughed. You look beautiful, and I'm proud to have you on my arm. Although, you might want to fix those black smears before we dance, huh? I took his arm. My head was confused, although my heart was only thinking one thing. He really likes me. We shared our first kiss that night and have been dating ever since. He no longer hangs about with Alex, and we have our own friends. Even Trish has smartened up and has a date. We even double date together. Life has changed so much. For the better.